Hello, we're in Sydney, Australia, and the air quality is really poor. Many, many bushfires circling the city and the metropolitan area, filling basically the entire airspace with ash and smoke. These fires are currently being denied by the government right now, saying that there, there is no direct attribution between these fires and the climate crisis, and this has been proven to be false. Yeah, so Sydney metropolitan area, for the first time ever, had catastrophic fire danger ratings about half a month ago. And less, I, that has been two weeks, two weeks ago two weeks on ago. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, just completely like, and nobody could light a match. It was like a complete lockdown when it came to fire. And there was a fire in the Sydney like area, area that got up to emergency warning, um, and people had to evacuate in the area of Taramara, which is uh, there was fires that came over a hundred of like hundred meters from someone's house. And there were quite a few houses lost. I think the death toll's currently at five, five, five to ten. Six hundred and eighty homes have gone. Yep, yeah, six hundred and eighty. That's across both states of New South Wales and Queensland. We're in a crisis fire. The air's full of smoke. It's terrible, and it it connects to climate change, really. Yes. Yeah, so um. The, it's, we, we currently have hazardous air quality ratings, which is we had 12, I think we're actually higher than 12 in the world for air quality. We have more pollution than Beijing, Chongqing, Delhi, New Delhi, everywhere, pretty much everywhere in the world. Basically, yeah. as soon as we finish rolling, we'll have to go straight inside because it's my eyes are stinging, it's a bit hard to breathe. Yeah, and it's getting really hot. Yeah, we're up okay. to we're getting up to thirty degrees. So, yeah, not good for fires, and it's windy, which is also not good for fires. Yeah. Yeah.